Good morning expats and international students and welcome to my channel Good Morning Expat. This is Hoor and I am here with a brand new video in the EU travel series and it's the summer holiday period in August 2022 and this time I am exploring the beautiful Baltic region. So I am here in the capital city of Latvia which is called Riga which is a beautiful lovely town located on the banks of the Daugava river which is this beautiful view that you can see behind me. Over the next few days, I'm going to explore all the major attractions in this lovely city, including the old town of Riga, which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and all the big and small buildings, new ones, modern ones, and also the old ones. And I can't wait to show you everything that I'm going to do over the next two days in this weekend trip in Latvia. So stay tuned and continue watching this video until the end. One main thing that you cannot miss in the city escape of Riga is of course the river Daugava itself and on it several of these bridges. One of them is the stone bridge that you can see behind me and it was also uh, originally called the October Bridge. This bridge connects uh, this location, this bank to the other bank from where the old town of Riga starts. So I am staying for example, I will show you in uh, the Radisson Blue Hotel, the Daugava Radisson Blue Hotel which is this white building behind me. And this is one of the many Radisson properties that are located here in Riga. So they were telling me on the way uh, here from the airport that there are six Radisson properties so do not get confused. If you want fantastic views of the Daugava river and of all these bridges then this is a great location to stay because from the balconies from the balconies of most of the rooms you can have these fantastic views of the river which are beautiful in the daytime but even more beautiful in the nighttime as well. So I highly recommend this place to stay if you want to stay close to the city center which is the old town but at the same time not missing the views of the river itself then this is a this is a great uh, hotel option and uh, this place wasn't expensive at all for the type of property that it is so it was 80 euros uh, per night so a fantastic price and then the rooms are very spacious very big and i think originally this property was like a heritage hotel sort of uh, property where a lot of important persons including Prince Charles, the Queen of, of uh, England and other famous personalities have also stayed. So it's, it's a charming place altogether. It's a Radisson property now so you can expect the, the excellent service quality that they offer anyway. And the location advantage is definitely the, the main highlight of this one. And then as you turn around, you get again the views of the stone bridge followed by other several bridges that run all across uh, the river. And eventually the river is going to meet into the, is going to go into the Baltic Sea. The seaside is not very far from here actually if you fancy going to the beach or just exploring the coast. So with public transport in about 45 minutes to one hour, you can also go to the coast where you can uh, get the, the beautiful views of the Baltic Sea itself. I imagine not so much for beach lovers because <laughs> this is Northern Europe anyway so the temperature of the water is going to be quite cold. I'm not sure how swimming friendly it's going to be but at least for the views you can you can go there to explore it.
one of the things that I highly recommend you to take would be the river cruise which is this one hour boat ride that you can take on this boat that you can see behind me. The one that I took is with the river cruise company and it's called the package was called Panorama which costed 969 euro and 60 cents to me because I booked it online. The original price is 12 euros but by booking online you can get a 20% discount so that's again one recommendation to take and uh, it's a fantastic experience on this boat because it's a one hour ride on this boat uh, on the Daugava river which gives you beautiful panoramic views of the cityscape of uh, Riga. It wouldn't give you the views of the old town because the old town is a region which is uh, you know by foot only so vehicles cannot go inside the old town but from here what you will get will be definitely the views of the skyline of the old town and uh, this is one thing that i highly recommend you to take so do not forget to explore it while you are in riga so during the trip you can buy some drinks and uh, uh, that can be ordered on board uh, the idea is that there are tables just like in a restaurant and you sit down with your friends and family and enjoy the fantastic views of the river having a relaxed easy going time so if you don't want to walk around a lot or do hiking or do any strenuous activities but just have a relaxing break then this is a perfect thing to explore so you can also take the two for one combo which means that you can take a ride on this big boat which will take you over the river but then if you want to explore also the canals which are like a steeper uh, waterways then you need to get on a smaller boat and the package can be combined to take this one uh, which can give you the views both of the main river but also of the canals that go along the city. And right across the stone bridge you will find the town square the town hall square which is one one major square in the historic city of Riga and this is where you will find the town hall as the name suggests but another more famous attraction here is the house of the blackheads which is a famous museum that we are going to discover now this coral colored structure that you can see behind me is the house of the blackheads this structure was created for the guild of the blackhead soldiers and the original uh, monument was destroyed during the second world war in around 1999 it was recreated redeveloped and reopened for the public using public funds but more interestingly also using the funds uh, collected by the public people who wanted uh, its redevelopment so crowdfunding goes back <laughs> ages we can say and around 1999 it was reopened for the public and now it's used as uh, as a museum we are going to explore it on the inside too the ticket costs seven euros so it's worth a visit it's a, it's not a very big price for this monumental structure uh, you can still see uh, the old cellar which is the structure that still remains uh, i mean the original structure from the 14th century which survived uh, the various attacks that you can explore with all the remains wooden stairs uh, wall bricks and everything that that has been preserved uh, since that time and then the first and the second floors have the cabinets and also the seats of um, uh, the presidential the presidential uh, suites as well because this structure was also used for a small amount of time by by the president of Riga
Another important thing to see over here in this square is this Christmas tree, which is symbolic of the first Christmas tree that was erected in a town hall square in 1510, as you can see over here. So this is another important bit that's worth seeing before you get inside the museum. It's the month of August and uh, therefore the weather is on its extreme and it's 31 degrees today. Uh, there's a heat wave going on, heat wave according to Baltic standards I must say and therefore it's, it's quite hot so you must stay hydrated and therefore I'm going inside the supermarket which is called Narvezen Nar and uh, this is like the 7-Eleven of Riga, you can find them in all nooks and corners, all the nooks and corners of the city. So that's where I'm going to go to grab a fresh water bottle. Riga is a city famous for its concert halls and you can see one of them right behind me which is the Liela Gilde concert hall which is located in this Livu Square. This Livu Square is a place famous for its bars, pubs and restaurants and its nightlife and behind me you can see some of the bars already which are open throughout the night so Riga is also a very lively place by the night and these bars and restaurants continue all the way until the end of the street where you can come at the night time to have dinner uh, enjoy the music, live DJ sets for example or uh, just have, have a nice drink with your friends and family So my next stop after the historic city centre is uh, the Opera House. So this white building that you can see behind me is the Latvian National Opera and this is located right next to the Freedom Monument which is going to be my next destination. This 42 meter tall structure that you can see behind me is the Freedom Monument and it is the focal point for many public official ceremonies here in Riga. This structure was created, it was constructed to pay homage to the soldiers who were killed in the Latvian War of Independence. They saw amber from Baltic Sea. Amber pine tree, 70 million years old. 